A couple of years ago, Kay embarked on a journey to climb Mount Everest. Kay had been training for months, prepping her body and mind for the challenging trek ahead. Kay was confident, maybe even a bit cocky, thinking she had it all figured out. As Kay soon learned, life doesn't always go according to plan. Reaching the base camp, Kay was hit with a severe bout of altitude sickness. Kay tried to push through, but her body wasn't having it. Dream of reaching the summit, that vision she held so dear, crumbled before her eyes. Kay had failed, but as they say, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. And get back up, Kay did. Kay spent the next year training harder, learning more about how to prepare her body for high altitudes. Kay took her failure as a lesson, not a defeat. Kay learned to respect the mountain and her limits, and Kay learned that preparation is as much about understanding your weaknesses as it is about building your strengths. The following year, Kay returned to Mount Everest. This time, Kay was ready. Kay knew the challenges that lay ahead, and Kay had prepared for them. Kay reached the summit, not with the cocky confidence of before, but with a humble respect for the journey. So what can we take away from this story? Firstly, failure is not the end. It's simply a part of the journey, a stepping stone on the path to success. It's an opportunity for Kay to learn, to grow, to become stronger. Secondly, resilience is key. It's the ability for Kay to bounce back from failure, to not let it define Kay, but to use it as a tool for growth and improvement. And lastly, preparation is crucial. Understanding Kay's strengths and weaknesses and preparing accordingly is an integral part of achieving Kay's goals. Remember, it's not about how many times Kay falls, but how many times Kay gets back up. So the next time Kay faces a setback, remember the mountain, remember the journey, remember that failure is just a detour, not the end of the road. Embrace it, learn from it and keep moving forward. That's the real secret to success. In professional life, Kay has also faced her fair share of failures. There was a time when she took the lead on a major project at work, only for it to fall flat. It was a devastating moment, but did she let it break her? No, instead she used it as an opportunity to learn and to grow. She examined the failed project, identified the areas where she could improve, and took steps to enhance her skills. And in the process, she discovered the importance of resilience and learning. Even in a professional setting, just like on the mountain, Kay learned that failure at work is not the end, but a stepping stone to success. So the next time you face a setback in your professional life, remember Kay, remember her journey. Embrace your failures, learn from them and keep moving forward. That's the real secret to success in the professional world too.